Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. As you can see, I am in the middle of the road, hey. Now this is my first words of the day. So bizarre. Anybody else feel like whenever you talk for the first time, breaking my vocab fast? You know, that doesn't make any sense. I'm listening to way too much like primal weird things, but I don't fast, clearly. Anyways, I'm on my morning walk. It, the sun was out, now it's kind of overcast, but if you notice, I'm not in my dad's penguin suit because it's like 60 degrees right now. But it doesn't feel 60 degrees, which is so nice, and I showered last night and I'm preserving my curls, which is whatever this is. I originally had a client call this morning at 9 a.m., but they canceled while I was walking, so, which is fine. It was kind of actually nice because it was so nice out, and I was like, oh, I don't want to go back because it's just, it was really nice. I know it looks like it's going to rain. I don't know. I think it's supposed to rain for the next few days, which might be really good because it's Wednesday right now. I'm still filming. Some of, like, the little things I want to do require me to be indoors, and, like, whenever it's sunny, I feel guilty for just being on my computer. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of excited for it to be rainy. I love rain. I think my favorite weather, listen... I am a whore for a UV of 12. Get me out there with the pina colada. Like, do not get me wrong ever. But a thunderstorm, I don't know what about that is a hug to me. And I used to fear thunderstorms a lot when I was little. I had the biggest fear of tornadoes. I don't know why, where I'm at, we don't get tornadoes. But for some reason, tornadoes and quicksand, I thought were gonna be what I was gonna die by. That was gonna be my cause of death. COD on the death certificate. I thought me and Toto were going to Kansas every other day. Every time it would rain, I remember I would analyze the sky to make sure it wasn't green, because I read that if it's green, that means it's a tornado. I think I made that up, I don't know. But anyways, there's not a tornado. It's just kind of rainy day. Just finishing up my morning walk. I'm gonna do a bunch of my laundry today. I have a wax appointment at about 3.45 and I wanna go to the gym beforehand. And then I really want to get, you guys are going to be so proud of me. I am going to do my picture wall this week. That is my one mission. One of you guys tagged me. I'll talk about it more when I like go to Target or something. I don't really know. Because I was going to get my frame. I want to get just a gold frame and put my pictures in the frame. And that way it doesn't peel off, you know, and fall off like they did. And, and just confetti all over my damn room. Probably go to Target to get a frame there. But one of you guys tagged me in a video. So sweet. And I really appreciate it because that's so cute. And that's definitely like the vibe. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to go home. It's still early sometimes. Like I don't have words. And then I will think back to who I was in the morning and I'm like it does it feels very blurry so it's kind of weird to think about how what I'm saying right now is gonna feel blurry to who I am at like 6 p.m. I don't know I haven't journaled yet so just just take anything I'm saying ever with 8,000 milligrams of salt and I will in form of Frank's Red Hot on my egg scramble. Thank you, okay, thank you. I got all of my, my parents' bathroom, if you're like, why is it kind of echoey and weird? I got all of my defined clothes in for the month and I wanna do a try on haul because I think those are so fun to watch, I don't care. Painted my nails red, yeah. Guys, I grew that, dude. Stop focusing on me. Can't really see, but like, I grew these. <laughs> the human body's so bizarre. I don't wanna show my address, but. I'm so excited. I got everything from the Hannah Pearson collection because she works with Define as well. She's a very big supporter of the brand and she made her own little collection and I want to support all my girlies. So I got literally everything that she, like her whole collection. So I'm going to show you. This is the color, I got everything in a size medium. This is the color Coral Reef. It has her little collection. I don't know if you can like see. I don't know how to like properly show you, but this is the Coral Reef top be organized sorry like sorry hold on i don't have boobs really so i don't usually wear like low i don't know how i feel about that but for not having boobs that's pretty impressive this is the hannah edit twist front sports bra coral reef and i got this this whole color is coral reef everything i got ever is medium these are the four and a half shorts i do like they don't okay this is literally just a butt shot i'm sorry they don't have a scrunch in the butt they literally just have it's like flat which i think some people might really like because some people don't like the weird scrunch i like it so that's the top I, it's super super comfortable i don't know if you can see the material like if you look it's not just all one color it's kind of different colors which i really really like super cute i don't know if i would have the confidence to wear this in the gym just because like I feel like this is like for people who have boobs. I'm gonna make it work. Let's try the other ones, I'm excited. It's the same shebang, but in the coral blue color. I think when I'm tan, y'all, this is literally gonna go crazy. It doesn't scrunch up at the butt, but it's still super, super flattering. Um, I cannot wait to be not the color that I am in this, because it's very aquamarine-y vibes. I think it's really cute. I also got, I'm gonna try it on next. I got a shirt. Ever since I got the I got the navy and the black defined shirts last time, she came out with the shirt in the same color, but the back is open. And I'm intrigued. So we're gonna try that one next. I think I might move you back up here. I don't know if I should do that. I love this shirt. 
This, it has padding in it, which I think is really, really helpful. The back is completely open. It just has this little band here. It says the front on it. Again, the shorts, like I said, they don't have the scrunch, but they're super, super flattering. And then it says Hannah Pearson on the side, which is really cute. But this color and the fit is super comfortable and flattering. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Again, can't wait to be tan. The same thing, but in this sand dune color, which I'm gonna try on next, which is like little, definitely brings out the eyes, kind of, right? I'm just telling myself that. I didn't get any dune. This is the sand dune color, colored shorts. So I don't, of course I wouldn't wear it with these shorts, but this is the dune top. Love the back, it's super flattering. One thing I really appreciate, this is a medium, but it's really tight. But I think that's really nice that it's tight because with t-shirt stuff, I never know if I wanna wear a sports bra under it, but I would not have to wear a sports bra. Like this is very compressive. It comes with some padding. I feel like I could go for a run in this. And I really, really love the color. Like I would just wear this t-shirt to go and like go to Ulta, you know? Dude, try on stuff. I'm like, I love watching it, but I'm like, this is my cardio for the day, you know? And then lastly, this is the, in that same sand dune color with the open back. So, uh, hello? Yeah. So cute, I had to have light day today, so I don't know what I would wear. I think I really wanna wear, I like the blue color a lot, I might do that, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, my body image has been so horrible, so I don't know if I'm feeling like a cute set moment. Sometimes I'm like, just put a fucking sh robe. Can I go to the gym in a robe? Might start a trend. I'm a medium and everything, super, super cute. You know I love to find, use code Haley C. If you wanna support me, it means a lot to me. I don't know how I feel about like a bra. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm all for it. And I think it's really cute. And especially in the summer when I'm tan, really, really nice. I'm excited about that. That's all of my clothes for the month. I'm so blessed. Thank you to Fine for working with me. I love your brand and I will support you. I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna make some lunch. I've been doing homework literally all morning, but I feel really productive. So it's like, okay, it's, I can justify feeling tired and sluggish because at least I got a lot done. I'm 5'8 for reference, by the way, if that helps anybody. Somebody said that I look like I'm short. Is that a compliment? <laughs> I don't really know, but I'm 5'8". I feel like I'm going to nurse a newborn in this for some reason, and I don't know what that means. I better not be, you know how like sometimes I'm not, but I'm just saying sometimes the girlies get it when you might be in fear of certain things happening and you're like, you start picking out baby names. Like, why do I want to mother a child in this? I'm not doing that, I promise. I'm still on my celibate journey because I did start a resolution this year. If you're curious, okay. And that's been going very easily. I hate everybody. We didn't get as lucky today. My dad has his weird shirts in there, but whatever. I don't really separate my whites, unless I have really nice shirts, because some of my Define stuff, like my light pink set, I wash it with colored things. I won't lie, they're kind of a tinted color, and now I'm kind of nervous about it, but in terms of bedding, I just throw it in there. Like, I don't care who's looking at it. Nobody. Nobody but me. Dryer sheets, or the laundry sheets that we use, you literally just take it, it's like these little biodegradable things and you just kind of rip them up. I don't know why. Something about this is so, the way that it tears, I just want to eat it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I just put it in there. My actual comforter, I'm not gonna wash that because it takes forever and I wash it pretty recently and that doesn't really get dirty that often. So I, I wash my sheets once a week, but I wash my comforter maybe once a month. Is that gross? Don't tell me that's gross, please. Subset of people cleaning up, they know every single rule of like, all you need is vinegar and you can clean everything ever. I don't know the rules, can you enlighten me? Is there a specific societal timeline I'm supposed to be washing my fucking like mattress? You know? Hey, dishwasher tour. I unload my dishwasher every single morning first thing and it just helps me. I personal thing with my mental, I cannot do my cooking until it's clean and then we can begin. Whatever. Leave out my beautiful mug because it's perfect and look right in the grooves of my hands. This makes me look forward to breakfast so much more just because I want to be in a Hallmark movie overlooking my deck with snow on the ground. It's 60 degrees in April, but we're gonna leave the cup out because also, why does my hair, I kind of look like a mermaid. Yay! Similar thing is you gotta leave out your, this is my, my fork, Haley's fork. It's the only one that looks like this. It's beautiful and that's all that I can eat off of or my food's gonna spoil me somehow. If you're a psychiatrist, put the notepad away. I'm working on it, okay? Welcome back to Haley's Kitchen, bitch, except we're not doing anything that's gonna look appetizing at all. I just wanted to show you guys, I don't meal prep, but I ingredient prep, and I thought I would just show you how I do that. It's so much more convenient, in my opinion, to 
and actually meal prepping. It takes a lot less time. Also, hey, don't eat at my house ever. Um, why does, that's what the clean pan looks like. What? The only like really meal prep that I ever do is the meat in my house. So we just buy like big things of chicken. Usually like sometimes at Costco or things like that, they'll have just big chunks of meat and you buy it and I just cook all of it in the broiler in the oven throughout the week you just have chicken already cooked and prepped and ready. Lord, I am using a cutting board for my chicken. Okay, I'm not that bad, y'all. But I've never been somebody who actually meal preps. I just feel like I, I'm also very blessed. I have washed my hands, by the way, but I'm not doing that again because I don't feel like it. I don't wash my chicken. Is that a curse to some people? Maybe. I don't really know. I don't think that, that you have to do that. You can see what I'm doing. I just hold the top of it and I cut each filet. <laughs> Come on, Bobby filet in half just like this and then you can't really see but i just oh i should fucking need to spray it <sighs> then you're gonna take your chicken hands and grab onto the fucking oil yep you are lightly spray this so it doesn't stick i guess i'll just put this behind so you can see this is what my kitchen looks like it's just a mess i always think of that one what's like pop culture you always think about i oh bitch you look a mess i think about that all the time Anyway, I say that to myself all the time. But I cut all these in half so that they cook a lot more even. I hate when chicken, listen, when it does that, what are we doing? Don't look, just close your eyes, cut it, cook it. You know what I'm saying? I've ne <sighs> Me saying to cut it in half to cook evenly? Girl, they're not even related. That's not even part of the same family tree. That is an alien. Some people don't like meal prep because it takes so much time. I'm blessed to wear like my situation. I'm cutting out this weird vein part because what meal prep kind of icks me out like if i have a prepped meal prepped meal for real where it's like broccoli chicken and rice in a container if you're cooking for five days like i just don't think that it is as appetizing anymore there's a hair on it good job girl so for me it's just a lot more easy to have chicken that's just cooked and then i can use it i don't really season it that much i will season it okay don't freak out but i just keep it pretty like salt pepper garlic powder and then that way throughout the week i can make it more versatile if i'm gonna do barbecue i have chicken cooked if i'm gonna do fajitas i have chicken cooked it's so much easier and it makes it so that I don't feel like I have to eat the same shit all the time because I just have a very basic done ingredient, you know? And I could do the same thing, I guess, technically with like my potatoes, cook a bunch of potatoes all I want. I like having it, f I tell myself I'm like in an Amish market where it's made fresh and all cutie. I don't know what that is. Hey, I like cooking my vegetable stuff like that, like as I'm eating it. But in terms of meat, just having it cooked in the fridge, it saves you so much time. I am a little bit nervous putting my chicken online because people are chicken connoisseurs. And listen, I'm a meat girl through and through. If you don't post food that is just doused in every type of seasoning there's ever been with sauce marinade and then people freak out and tell you that you're gross, then don't eat it. <laughs> Sorry. Don't, don't eat it. Nobody's making you watch or eat it, babe. So if it angers you, take your anger out somewhere else. Let me eat my chicken in peace. So that was just a full pack. Wash your hands with some hot, soapy water and wash the vegetable oil that you just covered in chicken juice. Also serving as proof that I wash my hands and that I'm not always that disgusting, okay? Ow! Don't um, burn your hands. My version of WikiHow when you look up how to cook chicken. Step one, fucking burn your hands, touch things with chicken juice. That literally hurts so bad. In terms of seasonings that I use now that we have our chicken, I just use some seasoning salt. This is the Morton. I love seasoning salt. I could, it tastes so good. So I just literally sprinkle that all over top. Like so, some pepper. Try not to sneeze challenge. Regular salt because you guys knew. Born Haley's Kitchen, we're raising our cholesterol. And then just some garlic powder. One of my other favorite seasonings that I really like is onion powder. It's really, really good. And when I went and visited my best friend Annabelle, she had Trader Joe's dill pickle pickling. Dill, it was like dill seasoning. And we put it on our chicken and we roasted it and it was so, I don't have a Trader Joe's really by me, so we don't really go there. But I think about that, it was so fucking good on chicken. If you're making chicken, get that. We don't have any of that. I don't even want to show you because it looks so bland and boring, but I just, that's all that I do. Sorry. My oven is on high broil. Put this in the middle. And I'll just let that go, honestly. Don't forget about it. Eight minutes and then I'll flip each piece. Let it go for like another four or five. If it's a little bit, this is gonna be like, I'm so scared to share this. <laughs> if it's a tiny bit pink, it's okay to me because when I cook it again, when I reheat it throughout the week, I reheat it with my food. And I have noticed that when I thoroughly cook it, that when I reheat it, it's dry as fuck. But just don't eat here, you know? Hold on. <coughs> 
Bless you, thank you. One thing about growing up, I'm so damn glad that the food that you cook for yourself does not need a health inspector's approval because I would quite simply never eat ever again. I would be out of business. I, would, I always think of the health inspector episode from SpongeBob. The cabinet is open, by the way. There's so much pepper in my nose. But that's how I cook my chicken. I thought I would show you. Super easy. Don't make things so difficult for yourself. If you think that meal prep is gross, just ingredient prep. Steam all the veggies for the week. And then that way you can just eat veggies all the time and they're done. The key to any meal that I ever make is... <coughs> <laughs> saying sorry to people for having natural human processes. It's just assembly. If you can pick a carb, a protein, a fat, and get some micronutrients in there, some fiber maybe, dope, that's it. You're done. <coughs> I need to stop. A bit, and I guess I'll just show you when it's done. It's chicken, like it's gonna look bad and boring, but whatever, I thought it would chair. I know that I've changed, I'm just, I time everything out, okay? Ah. Ew, ew. Perfect. Here is my chicken that is not yours. I c took off some of the smaller pieces that finished earlier because these, the, the ones that so thick, they're like triple the size, okay? If you cut with actual precision at all, if you took geometry and got, I mean, I actually had to go geometry. I love geometry instead of algebra. I was a shapes girl. Pythagorean theorem, when you can solve it, it's like, I'm close, don't stop, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm on my period, I'm really sorry. Sit and cool down a little bit out. Before I put it in the fridge, you wanna put hot food in the fridge. That really is a huge peeve of mine. I know I don't give a fuck about kitchen rolls, whatever, but I took culinary and I took some, believe it or not, a food safety class. You should not put hot food with a lid on it in the fridge. When I want a burrito randomly, spontaneously, I can just tear it up and it's done and I don't have to do anything besides wrap it and pray. And I can do that, you know? I'm not sure if I actually want to keep my hair like this. I just put it up because I needed it out of my face, but it does look pretty nice. I washed it last night. I've been washing my hair, I think, because I screwed it up last week. I put it in a bun too early, you know? So I fucked it up. So I've been, wa I washed it yesterday when I usually only wash my hair once a week, but I kind of feel like if I wash my hair twice a week, is that an okay still hair people help? Because I do think that I, I love when my hair is, you can actually see what's happening and it's not just me doing eight days of slick back in a row until I have to be out in public at a Mexican restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like just going in with a little bit of hula bronzer. So I think I might start washing my hair more. It just takes so much work and then I have to sleep on it specific way and it's like, well, I don't care enough for that. But then I do feel better when I do care. And then I feel like I'm like in one of those edits that talks about femininity as if I give an actual fuck what you define that as because you just do what you want and I am feminine because I'm me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Total side note, you guys know I gotta talk about my mental health on here somewhere. My, oh, okay, that's kind of splotchy and bad, but we'll get there. My OCPD has been, I, I don't wanna talk about it like it's a rash, but it's been a lot harder for me recently. Talking to my therapist about it there, I'm just learning a lot about it. It's still a new thing for me. I. It took a while for me to get diagnosed with it, if I'm being honest. It's kind of a bittersweet thing if there are certain things that I do that I guess I find some weird level. If you struggle with mental health, I feel like you know what I'm saying. I find a little bit of comfort knowing that it's because of my mental illness. Why did I say it like that? Mental illness? But then I also, I get kind of sad because I'm like, oh, this isn't just a normal thing that people do. And I guess to some people that might be like a positive thing. It, you're not crazy, like this is an actual thing. But then I'm like, I get a little bit sad because I'm like, you're trying to tell me that other people don't have this. There are certain things that I didn't even realize were associated with that, that I do. I'm learning a lot about, and I will find myself in certain thought patterns, whatever, realize that that is my mental illness. Realizing that it is that doesn't let you separate from it. It just makes you aware of it. So then I almost kind of wish I didn't know about it in a way, because then I could just be, be a weirdly and need specific things and just think that that's how everybody is but knowing that it's actually a different does this make any sense knowing that that's not how everybody is it almost makes me feel a little bit isolated even though i also find two things can exist at the same time i can find comfort in knowing that i'm not losing my mind but also be a little bit disappointed that 85 percent of the shit that i do is not what other people do and there are people that don't have to worry about that you know so i've been struggling a little bit with that i haven't been putting white in my underline my underline my waterline but i kind of want to do it today because i feel like i'm at the beach i don't know what that means just a little bit though but yeah i don't know there are just certain things that ooh. See, I kind of feel like a doll. I don't know how I'm feeling about that. And I used to love it. Anyways. Oh, a lot of my thinking patterns that I've been talking to my therapist about that have been becoming more and more prevalent again. It's a little bit disappointing. It's this, 
I don't know how to explain this. Mental illness is really hard for me to talk about because I guess I'll try to give examples because you're probably like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, girl. With certain OCD things, I don't even know if this is an OCPD thing specifically or if it's just OCD. I'll have these thoughts. I don't know if they're like obsessive thoughts or whatever. I'll imagine scenarios where I did the absolute worst thing ever and I will truly have this belief that I did something awful and that people are going to find out that I did something so, so horrible and awful when I didn't do the thing. So for example, probably doesn't make any sense. My dad got these cute glasses for his birthday last or for Christmas or something and he was showing me his glasses and in my brain I pictured I was like I imagined myself going up and snapping them in half I didn't do that but I pictured myself doing it and then I felt horrible for the imaginary version of my dad that had to react to that and then I sat with guilt and uncomfort for 30 minutes after that and I had to journal and do my little mantras to remind myself that I didn't actually do that and I told my therapist about that and I was like you know when you like imagine that you did something awful or you truly think that it's reality and what and she was like <laughs> make another tab it's frustrating for sure and i'm trying to i guess the more that you can learn about it the more you can find ways to help yourself and i try to think like that as well frustrating even certain things with money i didn't even know that i kind of hoard my money i don't like spending it and if i have to pay people things i'd rather pay them a lot at one time and just get it over with because i'm i have this fear that something's gonna go wrong and like this need to prepare for months and months on end even though my situation at a grand scheme i don't have to worry about going into debt or having this huge payment due. I just have a fear that I'm gonna be homeless and lose everything. So I hoard like money. And I didn't even know that that was an OCPD thing. Then I was talking to my therapist about it. She's like, yeah, that's, that is not a normal thing. Cause I told her, I was like, yeah, I really wanted to go and go to Target and get something, but I, I don't let myself go shopping unless I need at least, my number is six. I don't know what that means. Unless I need like minimum six things, I don't let myself go shopping because I'm like, I need to save all my money. And yes, saving money is so great. I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's just just the it's the severity of normal things yeah I'm sure there are a lot of people that don't like to spend their money but my thing is like I get anxiety if I have three dollars on my credit card because I think that I'm gonna lose all my money tomorrow I'm not gonna lose all my money tomorrow but what if I do I don't know you know I don't know what that is I'm venting to you and I understand that Okay. A part of me wonders if it's beneficial to share some of my mental health things because I don't want people to self-diagnose or I guess that also can be beneficial though. There's a part of me that doesn't know how I feel about that because I don't want to bring too much aware- like awareness is great until I'm just complaining all the time. And we're besties, but I also try to be very positive. And so I don't really know. I'll try not to talk about that, I guess, but I don't know. I'm on my period, so that's also why. I haven't been using my gua sha. So I wanted to see if it helped my acne. It definitely has helped a lot. So like this is just from hormones. I think that's all I'm gonna do for makeup. I feel pretty cutie. I might do, God, my legs are so bad. My legs yesterday. I have makeup all over the counter, so just ignore that. Aquamarine. And then the open back, super cute. I'm doing a little back day today, back and abs. So tomorrow I can do shoulders and abs. I like doing shoulders separate, I don't know why. I love training my shoulders. I feel really bloated and puffy and ugly and disgusting, but also like beautiful, gorgeous, and I wanna go lay out in the pool. This is my, I shouldn't even have to go to like therapy or anything because this is convincing enough. Good hair days really, they come in clutch. So it's about 12, 18 right now. My wax appointment is at 3.45, but it's right next to my gym because my gym is like 30 minutes away. I'll probably get there around one o'clock, have a good lift. I budget way too much time for things. It is not going to take me three fucking hours to do a back workout. I hate being rushed. And again, I prepare for the worst. So it's like, I need to make sure that I have enough time for one specific thing when my wax appointment is literally probably gonna take two seconds. And and then be done. But yeah, that's the finished makeup. I don't know if I'm gonna leave my hair like this or not. I, it does look pretty cutie, but for back, like I wanna see my back muscles, so I don't know how to put it up in a way that's cutie without being in a fucking bun. I guess I'll just use a claw clip. Right, we're just making a pre-workout. I'm having a little apple. I had breakfast a little bit late this morning. I'm not really that hungry, so I don't wanna eat as much as I usually really put a lot of stress on my pre-workout meal. I already feel so like, I just feel really bloated and full. <laughs> so I'm trying not to like force feed myself really. I know that I'm probably not gonna be home for a while because after the gym is my appointment and then I'm going to Target, whatever. I'm doing a scoop of the pump surge. Can we take a minute? I'm so color coordinated right now. I love it so much. And I'm doing one scoop of the energy surge. I don't know if I've noticed a difference with this stuff. I don't know, guys. You just add the brown powder and you think it's fun and that's it. And then, cause I wanna stay on brand, I'm using the blue raspberry stem free. It's 12 o'clock, I have time if I wanted to do caffeine. But honestly, I didn't sleep that well last night. So I don't even wanna risk that. I really, my sleep means everything to me. So I'm doing two, maybe scoops. Shut up. Ah, I feel really beautiful right now. Yay. Apple check. 
Mmm, Honeycrisp is the best apple ever. I don't care. Just gonna sip on this. A pet peeve of mine is when people eat apples and they'll leave like double the amount and they're done. It's not just a ring around the rose you go one round. You gotta like really get in there, you know? I don't waste any to drive for the gym because it's such a beautiful day. It's like 65 degrees and it's kind of sunny. I'm so, I don't even know what music I'm gonna listen to, but I'm so excited for whatever I choose. Music is so fun. I'm so blessed that I have a car that can play it, you know? It's so cool. Okay. <laughs> Throw the apple away. No, I'm not done with that. Let's go to the gym. My grip strength is so bad. We're doing a pump check in here because I don't feel like going out there. Not shabby, I didn't film everything ever because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Sorry! This is the worst filming ever. Get it sexy. Me bringing a tripod to the gym for literally decoration. Bow, 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 bow. Good. <laughs> I'm just gonna go walk. All right, we are outside of Salon Lofts. This is where I get my Brazilians. Usually I do my Brazilian and my eyebrows together, but my eyebrows, these are still from when they got threaded from Valentine's Day. I've just been kind of plucking them. I know they're not perfect like they were when they were just freshly threaded, but I just don't feel like spending money on getting my eyebrows back because I really don't feel like I need to do that. So I'm just getting my Brazilian today. I'm gonna try to film in there. If not, my girl Hannah Manuel gets me right every single time. Every single time if you're in the Nova area, she's amazing. I love her so much and way, way, way more relaxing of a experience and vibe. Uh, what is it, European Wax Center? Yeah, they burned me one time. So anyway, I changed into sweatpants and I took off my compressional fucking shorts and I like took a little quick shower at the gym. So I always do that like before because I know I just came from the gym and I'm gonna go, trust me, I respect my girly and I would not do that to her. Target is literally right here and we're gonna pick up the frame that I bought for my picture wall. I'm super excited. Oh, the lighting is, did you do this on purpose? The lighting is really good. <laughs> <laughs> 
getting gone. The worst ones are the ones that are the inside like that. But it's really not that bad. You're like, girl, sorry. It's okay. And am I sweating? Yeah. But you know what? You know which ones are gonna be the worst. I do know which ones. I'm used to it. I'm built in. But if you go to a good waxer, it doesn't hurt that bad. She's got that good <laughs> potion that, God, I am sweating so much. But the top part is not bad. It's just the, what would you call it? The inside? So cruel. <laughs> it's cruel. <laughs> I didn't even take any ibuprofen. Usually, can you take ibuprofen? Yeah. No. Does that actually do anything though? I don't know. I think it's more of a placebo effect, honestly. I think that's probably real. I think the very first Brazilian I ever got, I told you when I went to like European Wax, I took ibuprofen for that one. You build a tolerance for it, you know what I mean? You do. Especially if you're consistent with it. You're Which I have out. not been, so... Um, I wasn't gonna call you out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girl, listen. It's spring now. I forgot, what is the cadence? Is it like four weeks? Usually, four to five. Four to five, okay. I usually time it with my hair appointments and then it's like, you have a week of all your fun. I'm glad you consider this a fun appointment. Me too. <laughs> no, in the moment, no, but like afterwards, I'm always like, I'm proud of myself. So glad I did that. Yeah. Your bench is going to literally be soaked when I get up and I'm actually sorry. It's not a Target right now, it's kind of dark, is it not? I ordered the frame online and I'm doing just a pickup. I've never done pickup stuff before, but I got stressed out because when I went to look it up, it said two left. I was like, okay. What if every girl is redoing her picture frame wall right now? I went and got it. I don't even know where to go in Target. I think I'm definitely gonna get a Diet Coke because I'm fucking starving. This is my poor planning. It's almost five fucking o'clock. It's 4.14, it's not. Fuck guys, I didn't expect it to be this big even though it literally has the measurements on there. But this is the frame. It's this whole big thing. It's like literally a ply board in my car. $20. I looked on Amazon and I, of course, by the way, okay, I'm gonna open this while I vent to you actually. Literally. Please don't explode on me. Being edged by a Diet Coke can. I was looking on Amazon for similar sizes and it was I was this close. I almost put my card information in for an $80 frame of the same size and this was $20 at Target. It was on sale. Probably broken somehow. I don't really care. But I think there's just a plain gold frame is all I'm gonna use even though the picture's kinda cutie, but. Wow. I'm feeling so fresh and so clean even though I'm still disgusting. I'm gonna go home and shower. I've been getting Brazilians for a few years now. I didn't go really that much in the winter to like save money, whatever, because I don't care. But for the summer times, I would recommend Brazilians over anything ever. If you want to remove your hair, you don't have to do that. It's totally up to you. Personally, it's my personal preference and I feel cleaner and it helps me a lot with like ingrowns or anything. I'm just, I like it. In terms of like if you save money, yeah, I know it's expensive, but you save so much time. Shaving, if you're a girly who does choose to do that, you know it takes so much fucking time. And just knowing that it's taken care of and it lasts whenever I'm like freshly for like weeks before you grow back. So, okay, period. Make some fucking food because I'm starving. And then tomorrow we're gonna work on the pictures to fill this up. I'm so, so excited. Get in my Pinterest moment. And I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well, which is like the perfect crafty weather. I feel like I'm fucking Joanne Fabrics, bitch. It's been eight to 10 business days and my, my laundry's done. Not really, but also fit check. <sighs> Whatever, Merry Christmas, I guess. Feliz Navidad. My laundry, every time I do it, is just bedding and socks. I am never endingly going through socks. Wash my silk pillowcases. Also, this might be so gross, but I'm just really wondering what, I know it's my drool, but what the actual hell is going on while I sleep? What is that? Do you see, what? I know this is definitely drool, which part of me is like, why is it brown? Am I supposed to be washing my pillows too? <laughs> my presence on the internet is just every question I should just call my mother and ask, but I just feel like you guys get it, I don't know. You go tag side in, boom, bitch. And this has really helped washing my pillowcases once a week and my skin as well as my hair. I don't know if this silk, cause I got these from Marshalls a very long time ago. I don't know if silk, I wanna say expires. That's just not the right word. But if you're supposed to renew it or like, does it lose its fun, silky fun after a while? I don't know, but I've had these for years. I like the little cutie pink, but I know that you can get some off of Amazon as well. And I might get like white ones off Amazon, but I like the pink. My favorite color is pink, so there's no better feeling. Oh, I should have shaved my legs. I just took a shower then going in. Oh my God, you get it. Look at that. You want to sleep there. If y'all remember in my other like spring cleaning video, I was talking, I was complaining about my jeans, how none of my jeans fit me. This beautiful soul, Julie Chef, I hope I'm saying your name right, she's from New York, I think. She DM'd me. She's like, hey, like my sister's cleaning out her closet and I know that you needed jeans. This bitch sent me, she sent me her old jeans that she said weren't gonna fit her anymore. I need to fucking show you because when I tell you that these fit me, 
like a glove. I don't, these are all from, what is it, BDG? Guys, do you see, I don't know how to show you, do you see the waistband? They fit me, what, like putting them on. Okay, why am I in heaven? Maybe I'll turn the light off. That's actually insanity. These are amazing, and she sent me four pairs of jeans, and I just want to show you. These are the next pair I changed angle a little bit. I don't have white jeans, but I do now. Are you kidding? Like with some booties, guys? Look how, p I can't, I have never tried so many jeans that genuinely fit my fucking waistband, and these literally, like, are a glove to me. I don't know if you can see them. They're amazing. I don't even have words. I don't wear jeans, but now I really want to, like, go out in public. These next ones are Levi's. They are, I, ow. <laughs> My joints sound like a haunted house, but these, the wash is so freaking beautiful. It's the perfect like blue jean color. Guys, I could get emotional. They literally, they, I have never tried this many jeans on consecutively that fit me and don't cause an eye twitch and some tears. I'm sitting down and they don't even dig into, they're the last pair. Another home run. I mean, I don't know what to say. They're from the BDG Urban, if I'm not mistaken. I could probably be wrong. I don't fucking jean shop, clearly. Now I don't have to. I was nervous. These ones are like the tightest ones, but they like literally are glued to me. And I love the light wash because I like light wash jeans. I usually just go like with the most of my stuff. You can, can you see that? Gym girls, you know how much of a success that is. That's absolutely insane. Julie, thank you so incredibly much. I'm so grateful. You guys mean so much to me. That just saved me a mall trip. I can't even articulate how blessed and grateful I am for you guys, especially for you, Julie. Like, thank you so fucking much to think, to see somebody's video like that and say, oh, I can help them. Wow, that's so admirable. And I just, I love you guys so fucking much and thank you. And now I can donate the actual pairs of jeans that do not fit me. I'm not gonna show you the other things, but she got me like this top. She uh, sent in the thing, she sent me a bikini, a cheetah fucking print bikini, bitch. I'm a cheetah girl. You know that was my shit growing up. How'd you know that? Are you a genie? And she sent me a, another top and some like running shorts. Like I, which me, I'm like, fuck, now I gotta run. I'm running in circles with my vocabulary because I'm just so blessed and I don't have words to describe how appreciative I am of you guys. It truly means everything to me. And I just wanted to show you, yay, that fit. I love you, Julie, and all of you. I have my big old frame here. So this is the one that we got at Target. I'm gonna do this. The girl in the video just made her, her collage and then taped it on there. So I took the cardboard backing out and then you have the poster board, which I'm kind of psyched because the poster board is cutie. Like, my pictures are cuter. Sorry! I was thinking what I'll do. I already have most of the pictures, and I'm probably gonna have to consolidate a little bit because this frame is smaller than what I originally had, but that's fine because some of those older pictures are older pictures anyways. And I remember if you guys looked at my last one, I tried doing my picture collage. I was trying to change the vibe anyways, so I'll have to consolidate, which is fine because some of these are a little bit, like, brighter and orange. I'm orange. Why am I orange? You know? If you're going through high school right now and you're, like, getting spray tans and, like, doing your moment lesson no shade but all i'm gonna tell you is you're gonna look back on that time and, and cringe and i think that that's a pivotal part in a lot of people is just hating who you were in high school okay you know at least we're growing i'm glad that we've grown that'd be worse if i thought that she was cute now i guess each of the pictures i was just gonna line them up but then i feel like no it's just gonna all fall down so i should tape them all together there is an absolute right way to do this that i am just completely missing the point but i don't care some of these are like dark pictures and I don't want to put, like, dark with- I want it to look cohesive, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let me just organize. <laughs> Hold on. My science to make sure that it's remotely straight is I think each row that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape it row by row. You know? Like that. I'll do them all, and then at the end, grand finale, I'll go this way and I'll do a few so that it's somewhat remotely together. And then that way, if it does kind of fall at least, I don't have to reorganize all the pictures because that would be so annoying, you know? <laughs> This is not what the girl in the cute TikTok did. She had a little sped up sound in the background, bitch. <laughs> Cue the Home Depot soundtrack. This is mine. Tape is so loud for what? Like, why are you so dramatic, dude? These are the ones that I put up. So I have separated, so I have three rows. Ones that go this way. So like, look how iconic this picture is from my birthday. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyways. So like, ones that go this way, there's three rows. One at the top, one at the bottom. And then I just kind of laid everything else out. I think that looks pretty nice. I could not fit all of the pictures on there, but some of the ones that were on here were just like random. Like, I mean, I would love to have that on there again, but we don't need to do that. It, I feel like a teddy bear right now. 
Come on, Car what is it, Carrington? Is that with the buttons? What is that? Please tell me that's Carrington. Am I thinking of the right thing with the cute little teddy bear? Bitch, I'm Ted. Like, anyways. Okay, you can see in the light my haphazard tape moment, but I feel like that's literally one cohesive thing. Piece of resistance. We just gotta put the cardboard back on top, so like the backing. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. Some toenail clippers. Oh, I'm so angry. I didn't put any of these fucking pictures. These were the ones that I literally wanted to put in there. Maybe I'll just hang them around my... What the actual... These were like literally the only ones that I loved. Because look at them. It's for my birthday. Maybe I'll just make another collage with these. F Stay positive, girl. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. <gasps> oh my god. Look how cutie that is. Oh, it's like bubbly though. I'm definitely glad I taped them because they totally would have fallen. That is so cute. Okay, cute. And then I'm literally just gonna hang it like this. That's gonna look so good. Aww. Okay, well I don't have a hanger though, so now what? I don't really know what to do with it now. I guess I'll just wait for my dad. <laughs> I'll just wait for my dad. Oh my gosh. Okay, yay. I'll just save these actually good pictures that I... The main focus of literally why I wanted to do a picture wall. These are the disposables from my DC trip that I love so much. I'll just do a separate little collage and I'll f I can put them somewhere else because I know I have a lot of wall space but I, I like clean white. But I also like want to have proof of living. Like what if there's Pompeii? Like we gotta know that I was fucking here. Oh my goodness, and that's gonna hang right above this wall. Thank you for who sent me that. I really appreciate that. That's so cute and it's not gonna go anywhere. Thank God. Happy Friday, y'all TGIF. I just had some breakfast, I'm feeling energized. This is gonna, what is it, the fucking Brazil nuts? I don't know if they actually work. I think somebody made that up and I'm running with it. But I wanted to show you guys, I was gonna do like a little what's in my gym bag and then I realized, what's in my gym bag? It's hair ties. I realized that Miss Girl, this is from Gymshark from like three years ago, Um, she's black. Literally so dirty, so I'm gonna actually clean out my gym bag and like put it in the washer. I just wanted to remind you that you can do that. Depend Why do I look like a guy? electrocuted i forget sometimes that you can wash certain things and you can wash you can wash your gym bag i post a what's in my gym bag video it's just this <laughs> i try to wash it honestly this is such the wrong answer i'm gonna set you up on the paper towels by the way i try to wash my gym bag every so often just because it does get so nasty and i'm throwing it around at the gym all the time and it's a, it's a cutie little light pink color this is i, I told you it's from gymshark from i got it for christmas it's so dirty. But I want to make sure that the cutie light pink is cutie and light pink. And you do want to take care of your things, okay, people? So this is your reminder to wash your damn gym bag. My dad is out all day. He's going to hang up my... Oh, they're out. Okay. Got to open a new pack. Is it just nailing one nail in the wall? Yeah, but I don't know if this is a dad thing. This despises when I put nails in the wall and like holes in the wall. He always gets so mad. So whenever I want to hang something, I have to like put it through the Congressional Congress and get it like approved bipartisan vote through my dad. And he has to like deem it worthy of hanging up a bowl, whatever. So he's going to be home later tonight and he'll hang that up. But I just want to show you that I wash my gym bag and you should too. And also I'm not doing this today, but washing your fucking comfort water bottle. Use like peach mix in my water flavoring sometimes. Is that half aspartame It's going to kill me? I don't know, maybe. But this is my comfort water bottle that I have. I washed it the other day and it was literally like moldy. Not moldy, but it was, it was not clean. Go wash that. There are certain things, dude, where I, I remember that you can wash them and then I get anxiety even thinking about wanting to wash them because I know how dirty it's gonna be. And it's like, like I remember when I saw a, one of those like five minute craft kind of things, but it's like this sped up on Instagram. You know what I'm talking about. It used to be like on Vine where you wash the tops of your sink, like the sink handle part where that comes out. And I remember doing that for the first time and gagging, bitch. It's like, I want to clean, but the process of knowing how dirty you are in cleaning is humbling. I'm super excited. I'm gonna check out a little Turkish market because for my Bite for Balances video, somebody had suggested doing baklava. I think that's how you pronounce that. I've never tried that before and I'm really just excited to try new foods. I love trying different cultures. I think that's so interesting. So I'm gonna look up little Turkish places because I believe there's a market. I would say it's like 30 minutes from my house, I think. I might call and ask if they have it before. I have a bunch of client stuff. It's, yeah, today's my rest day. So I'm trying to just relax and not overwhelm myself and just focus on clients in school. Maybe type my podcast and not put so much damn stress on myself. It's very difficult for me. And like I said, with my OCPD, there are certain things. 
I try to recognize behaviors while they're happening, but it's very frustrating when they happen anyways, whether or not you want them to. It's like, I thought that being aware of my thoughts and in control of them would make them go away. What do you mean it's my brain chemistry? What do you mean? Take it back. Can we start over? What is it? Power button went the main thing and just restart the phone. I don't know. Steve Jobs needs to come out with that for your brain, except I would not trust that. I don't know anything about Steve Jobs. I don't know why I'm saying that, but anyways. Shout out updates you. Happy fucking Friday, bitch. That's all I got. Okay. Happy Saturday, y'all. Okay, this is my last little errand, I promise, for the week, but I really wanted to show you guys. Sorry, the lighting's kind of butt, but I'm at the bank right now, okay? Because this is one of my favorite little things that I've been doing. That I'm more prone to spend cash like it's not actually in my account. It doesn't feel real to me, if that makes sense. So I got myself a fucking piggy bank. First of all, look at her. Ah, she's so cute. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And once a month, I deposit my cash. I never know how much I have. I'm, I brought a little baggie because I think I'm going to do the coins too. I know that's so annoying. I haven't even looked in this bitch. Look at her. I don't know what's in this. I surprise myself every single time that I do this. And it also just gives me a fun little thing to look forward to at the end of each month of like, ooh, let's see how much I saved up. You will surprise yourself. I promise. Damn, girl, you stuff like a pinata. When things come in very small increments, like cash, like if you get $5 cash every week or something, it's easy to just be like, oh, it's five bucks and like not really care about it. But through doing this, y'all, I've been able to, I don't know if you can fucking see what I'm literally doing right now. Okay, well, that just makes it, I want you to see me. There's so much cash in here, girl! It shows me how much it adds up if you just don't look at it. So I've been doing that. Guys, do you see what's happening right now? Where are we? I'm so excited. And I don't like to count before. I know it's probably inconsiderate of the bank teller. I'll like organize the bills, don't worry. But I just like to be surprised. I'm not gonna count while I do it, but I'm gonna guess $50. No, I'm gonna guess $60 because I saw a 20 in here. But $60, like you might think that that's nothing, but listen, that's a free tank of fucking gas in this damn economy. Like I'll take what I can get. Well, there's actually a lot of fives in here. Maybe it's more than that. I don't know. I'm gonna guess 80 bucks. I don't know. I'm literally trying not to count as I'm just organizing. Miss Piggy did that, bitch. I'm not counting that, but yeah. Bitch, we're back home. Um, $129.71. Guys, get a piggy bank, okay? I don't care if that's not a lot of money to some people. That's literally two tanks of gas. Okay, are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. I just wanted to show you that. Today, so it's Saturday, me and Nick are gonna go hit legs and get our little Mexican moment like we always do. We always get fajitas. We hit every Mexican restaurant. We're gonna have to go to like across the sea to reach them all, but I'm so excited. It's like part of the highlight of my week, but that's kind of what that looks like. I just wanted to update you. Save your money. It's currently Sunday. I've been editing and working with my client stuff all morning. It's nighttime, but I just wanted to do a little outro. Thank you for watching this week's weekly vlog. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Go get big.